dystopian times. In a world of politics dominated by the strange, the deranged, and outright insane, we'll now take a moment to shine a light on the craziest of what politics has to offer. This is your weekly dose of stupidity. So this is a Newsmax host. Um, I think that the title says a lot, the godless left, people you don't want in power uh, over you. He is going to uh, discuss climate change. Now, he is very confident and on top of that, he is going to um, basically say that all of us who believe in climate change, because it's objectively real, we're in a cult. He doesn't say this explicitly, but he kind of alludes to it. So let's uh, let's take a listen here. Like communist China, YouTube is preventing its users from even hearing from people who believe in the power of prayer because YouTube is run by communist sympathizers who reject the higher power belief system. Now, I just want to pause it there. So I don't know about everyone else. We're all content creators here. How many of you got one of your uh, prayer videos deleted from YouTube? I actually got one of mine deleted. Ray, did you ever? I got a stream zucked, not by YouTube, but by uh, uh, Twitch. Honestly, though, it was I was wearing it's more misogynistic than anything. I was wearing a tube top. And for one tiny part of the stream, I had slouched in my chair low enough so that you couldn't see where my shirt started. You just saw my shoulders and upwards. And I got that stream taken down for nudity, which was wow. like, not my ideologies. I've never had wow. that, but I know a lot of leftist content creators who have had their videos taken down um, for seemingly no reason. But yeah, like it's it, <laughs> the idea that it's some sort of communist overlord deciding what gets taken down on like these types of platforms is hilarious oh if only <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean the the religious videos um like some of these pastures they are massive on youtube like bigger than all of us combined um so i don't know what he's talking about really but nonetheless he's gonna he's gonna explain a little bit further Keep in mind, YouTube allows the religion of man-made global warming, a theory that has not been proven through science. There's no mathematical proof out there that states that X amount of man-made CO2 yields Y amount of temperature change. But YouTube takes man-made global warming, that theory, on faith. How ironic. And we all know how worshipers of man-made global warming show their devotion to the climate change deity. They push to deny individual rights to human beings as a sacrifice to their god youtube fully on board with that okay now before we discuss i just want to go back because when he dropped that uh line about we take our climate change on faith in his mind he thought oh my god i just nailed it mic drop right here let me let me find that again i don't know where it was how ironic on faith how ironic on faith hmm, how ironic how ironic Owned. How ironic, he says, without a shred of irony. <laughs> I, I, I mean, look, if we can turn climate change into a cult, and if that somehow galvanizes people to actually take action, let's do that. At this point, I'm so desperate that I am willing to try anything. But I mean, a Newsmax host who is an evangelical, assume, uh, I'm assuming, is going to call people who believe in climate change basically a cult who are basing their belief in climate change, not necessarily on science, but on faith. It's just, this makes me feel like we truly are living in the most bizarre timeline in, imaginable. Uh, Christina, please talk me off the ledge because I'm about to jump in Roblox uh, after watching that. <laughs> so like when they believe in something that's like faith, it's fine. But if we believe it with in faith it's bad it's not true what yeah yeah i mean if i were somebody who was religious i wouldn't necessarily want to push this idea that faith is bad but he is religious and he's saying our faith in the science i guess of climate change is bad so it this just the irony like as ray was pointing out like it, it's he it, what he's saying is religion. ironic yeah, it's ironic, but not for the reasons why he thinks it is. Uh, Dan, did you want to jump yeah, in here? Absolutely. I agreed with literally everything he said, only because <laughs> I don't know what words mean. 
You know, I just listen to the words and I just completely <laughs> tune out. It's really great how some people have this special way of taking words that we all, you know, words are just ideas, uh, you know, sounds that point towards ideas. You know what I mean? And I love how the guy took all, all these sounds and, and that, that are pointing towards sort of ideas that we're all used to them pointing towards. And then he points towards an idea that's a little bit off to the side of that one. And then he just kept doing it over and over and over again. And uh, at the end, I was like, wow, this guy's great. I love his stuff. All right, so yeah, <laughs> how do I dig into this? Um, so the word religion, okay, no. And the word faith, oh my God, no. And, and, and I used to do this thing where I would actually interview people about faith and I would ask them, you know, what it means. And, and, and I, I would have to ask them their definition. I can't, I don't, I don't think I use faith. You know, it's not a thing I, I would do if I realized I was doing it, but you know, I, so that's why I asked their definition of faith. So it's, it's just so hard to even pick this apart because uh, you, you can't have that conversation. With that said, there's so much to say about what's actually happening in terms of climate change um, uh, that, that is actually real and measurable. You know, if, if I were to, if, if, you, if I had to define faith, I would call it uh, unjustified confidence. You know what I mean? Mm. And do we have unjustified confidence in global warming? No, no. It, the, it, are you, have, have, does anyone have eyes? Like, we've had heat waves more intense than in, in any, any time of our lives, led to wildfires. There's smoke everywhere around these places. You can't go outside. Salmon's dying off because the water's too hot. The North Pole is hotter than it's ever been, uh, at 2020 being the hottest year on record. Uh, it's fucking with the jet streams. There's a, there's a, a wildfire in Siberia bigger than all of the other wildfires in the world combined. Uh, and I'm I'm just not really especially uh, I'm not feeling optimistic about things. I'm sorry I'm not uh, able to help you on that front, folks. But uh, you know we got the permafrost melting. That's gonna that's gonna uh, release a bunch of methane and carbon and perhaps more bacteria. Who knows how many more? Maybe we might see COVID twenty uh, hanging out in there. Um, yeah, we're so, gonna go so, through the uh, German alphabet next. <laughs> right, oh, the right. variant. Ah, bete. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's just not looking good. The western sea shelf of Antarctica has enough enough water to raise sea levels by three meters itself. So I'm just like, I'm thinking we need we need uh, uh, to stop arguing with dumb fucking people. Not that we're doing this right now, you know. Like every moment that we spend, uh, uh, you know, dealing with these these absolute schmucks, you know, we're we're it's it's a moment that we can't spend working towards yeah. fixing the problem. But, but yeah. we got to talk about them because they're there. They're part of it. I'm, I'm not saying yeah. what we're doing is wrong. Yeah, no, I, I mean, to this point, anyone who denies the reality of anthropogenic climate change, I think that they're just delusional, which is why uh, a lot of people, you know, unlike this Newsmax person, they've gotten a little bit more savvy. Like a lot of Republicans, if you listen now, they won't just say, oh, climate change isn't real. They'll say, oh, well, climate is, uh, you know, it, it's always changing. Um, it's just man didn't do it. And they have to move that goalpost because now we are literally in a situation where we can see the effects of climate change in real time. I mean, if you live in the Pacific Northwest, as I do, um, we had a record breaking heat wave not too long ago that ended up being a mass death casualty. Uh, more than 100 people died. And um, this was uh, not even more than a year after we experienced wildfires that made the um, air quality in, in Portland literally hazardous. Uh, past the record i think like the max on the air quality index is 400 our air quality was so bad it was like almost 600 which is the worst like actually toxic to everyone to go outside um so i mean we're all seeing it um it's just a matter of like what are we going to do about it now so the people like this um this newsmax host to be so confident and proclaim that climate change doesn't exist i mean this is a uh, proof uh, or maybe it's just faith in the belief that Dunning-Kruger Dunning, Dunning is a, a real thing. Because, I mean, to be that stupid and that confident simultaneously is almost, like, commendable. Because, wow. Um, yeah, uh, as Tyler Hackner says, dystopian capitalist hellscape we live in. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, and uh, as Brand points out, over 1,000 total uh, from the heat wave died. So uh, I think that's across the country overall. So uh, denying it is not going to do um, any of us any good.